right, here we are in a beautiful Rancho Santa Fe morning looking at a very nice, it's actually late morning so I'm starting to get a little bit warm, very nicely done, 1944 Deluxe Convertible. This is an all steel resto mod, it is very nicely done. It was uh, built right around 2000, 2001, the current owner purchased it in 2005, he's done a few upgrades over the years but it's a beautiful car, has a lot of neat upgrades on it. Uh, we'll kind of walk around and give you a feel like we typically do. Uh, it has those are true Halibrand wheels on the front. Uh, the color, I don't want to call it a burgundy. I want to call it kind of a cinnamon. It's very nicely done, kind of towards a factory color, but with metallic on it. I don't know if you can see it, but the body is very straight, kind of giving you a feel of it. it has a very nice, has a power. Uh, soft top on it, which we actually show you the soft top at a portion of this video, so you definitely want to hang on. It's a uh, Mercedes cloth style, obviously tan, uh, underneath the tonneau cover there. It does have a tonneau, does have a bra or nose cover for the front. This car has been very well preserved and driven. If you're looking for a car that you can drive, this car's got about 10,300 and some odd miles on it. The owner, current owner's put about 2,000 miles on it, and he's went over and done a few upgrades on it. Um, underneath the hood is a Chevy ZZ350 with aluminum heads, has a 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission in it, Ford 9 inch rear differential, has a fully independent front suspension, a Heights front suspension, um, so it's got tubular control arms, power rack and pinion steering, just all the stuff that you'd want so it'd have fun. It actually even has air conditioning. If you hang on a little bit, we'll take you underneath the hood, but we'll do our full walk around like we typically do. Um, the grill is very nice, has a uh, chrome chin guard on the front, which I haven't seen before. Uh, a lot of those get damaged and dinged, and the chrome one actually is something that'll take it a little bit better because it's so low in the front typically. The chrome and stainless on it's very nice, and the paint job, like I said, is very nice. It's a stainless, uh, the stainless on the car is very nice. It's uh, Again, it's probably going to look uh, burgundy to you. Maybe it's a, a wine color. Kind of do a little walk around here and just give you a good feel. Everything's functional on the car. This gentleman takes care of his cars. It has a power top on it. A very nice estate here we are documenting a couple cars for this gentleman. We've sold several of his collection over the years. He always has very nice stuff and he, and he takes great pride in his cars. So this is the kind of car you can drive. He says it needs to be detailed. He said it'll get her detailed up a little bit. I think she looks pretty darn good, don't you? Anyway, has a glide engineering seat uh, in it, leather. So what it'll do is it allows you to adjust the front seat, you know, to recline it fore and aft here so you can kind of lay back if you want a little bit. It's got these little flip levers on the back where you can flip the seat forward and you can let passengers in. The, it will slide forward the seat too so you give passengers a little more leg room in the back there's a ton of room in these 40 Fords in these convertibles it has a very nicely done stock dash with a hidden audio in it we'll kind of show you that it's got secret audio with a 10 disc player in the trunk there's a the secret audio there's actually a remote in the glove box here I'm not going to open it up because I do everything one-handed um, factory style uh, steering column which is what the owner put in he took the tilt out of it because he wanted a more traditional feel to it so it's uh, shift by feel, which is really easy. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, or overdrive, drive, so on and so forth. It is a 700 R4. We'll go around to the other side, but very nicely done interior. Starting to get a little bit warm out here. Seems to be the tail of my days about summertime when we're doing these cars. The door's shut really nice on it. Running boards are very nice. Kind of give you a good feel. Again, uh, those are real Halibrand wheels on this car. Most of the photo shoot was done in the shade where well before the cloud cover burned off on it. So it's nice that I'm getting a chance to do the video to give you kind of some of the beauty of the, of the paint itself. Um, the videos don't usually show all the glare that affects my camera. So all the factory trims on it. It has LED tail lights in the rear. I actually have a little cheat sheet in my hand here. I haven't even referred to it yet because I'm pretty much cover everything on it. Kind of walk around and give you a feel. Heinzman Street Rods chassis. I don't know if I said that. It has a 15 gallon stainless steel fuel tank. Goodyear tires, power steering, 
power front disc brakes, drum in the rear, air conditioning. Carson style electric convertible top. Again, we'll have pictures of the top. Uh, we'll take a, actually a portion of the video with the top up so we can kind of show you the condition of the top. I know that's important. You can see the perforated panels in the back for the speakers over there. The audio system the same on the front kick panel down low there. We're going to open up the car and kind of let you get in here. Kind of take you all the way through it. Door jam to door jam. This is a very nicely little done car. Like I said, it's a slightly older build, so what? It's going to be about 16 years old. He drives it most 95% of the time with the top down. It's a convertible. It says he's never really even runs it much with the top up at all. He just likes the feel of a convertible. That's why he has it. He actually has a coupe in the garage here that he's decided he's going to keep for a while. Um, kind of give you a feel. There's the AC vents right there underneath the dash. There's the vintage air conditioning control unit there. Kind of give you a feel here. We're going to actually, you turn this up to per, turn the ignition on, then you just kind of pull this back. That turns the ignition on. Electronic fuel injection, you can hear that. Kind of hear it run here. The miles on it are 10,384 at the time of inspection. It has video gauges in it that are all functional. And again, it has a uh, thermostatically controlled cooling fan. These are your turn signals right and left, so if you turn that knob right there to the right, you'll see the turn signal flashing on the dash, the right one. Turn it to the left and the left flashes. This here are the headlight switches and these are your AC controls. You can see it's got power steering on it, which makes it really nice if you're going to drive one of these cars. Quarters, three-quarter tank fuel, bolts are 13, oil pressure is about 50 at idle, 40 to 50 range. Temp gauge is going up right now, it's just uh, rising about 110, but I know a cooling fan will kick on there. We'll take you back here, we'll let you hear it run, we're going to tell you to get in, and then we're going to ask you to hang on to the end of the video. Thanks for coming to SpudsGarage.com, you're on Spuds Garage YouTube. Right, let's get underneath get the hood here and give you a really good look. Very nicely done. Just a nice tidy street rod. It has a ZZ, uh, Chevy ZZ3 350V8. has aluminum heads on it. Uh, it has a street and performance uh, tune port fuel injection right there. Everything's either plated or polished. It's very nicely done. It's very tidy. The car does have some few miles on it, so you know it runs and drives just fine. We started it up, pulled it out of the garage here. We actually have video up on the lift. Uh, chrome or polished intake manifold there. Individual fuel injectors. GMI, uh, GMHEI ignition. Go down here on this side. That's the uh, power steering reservoir. It does have a rat power rack and pinion steering. We probably covered that before. There's the coolant reservoir right here. The body number, it's a Briggs body number, 5727649 or 849. Anyway, we'll snap a good picture of that for you while we're here. We have an air hammer going off in the background there. Makes it kind of interesting. That's what you're hearing. Somebody's doing a remodel on a house behind us here. Body color firewall, body color bottom side of the hood, AC compressor right there. does have air conditioning, does have an electronic cooling fan with a rheostat. The rheostat's down there on the bottom. Has a uh, polished serpentine belt drive system in it. A couple of idlers. These are pretty nice little systems. That serpentine belt's nice. You know you're going to get a good grab there. You can see, actually see the rack there. You can see the... Uh, uh, heights control arms in the front, the tubular control arms. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. You definitely want to go to spudsgarage.com where we're going to have plenty more. Thanks for coming. If I repeat myself, hey, this the way it is. Have a great He's going to turn it around for me, so I thought I'd let you hear it run. We're going to do a little video of the top here so you have a section with the top up. He keeps the top down most of the time. 
Most goods are convertible if you don't have the top down, but if you got cotton weather, you could uh, obviously put the top up. It is a power top. The motor worked fine when we put it up here. We're just kind of doing a walk around on the top so you know the condition of it. It is very nice. It's not been up very much. There's a little tiny, you can see where the, uh, the top sits down in the well. When this is down, this folds down and then the point of the top just rests against that. That's no big deal. Get a good look at the top here. I don't see any, uh, typically these that have a little fuzz down here because they didn't do them right. There are a couple little tiny nicks from the rack. There's one right there and there's one right there. Other than that, that's the only marks I see on the top top's beautiful and again it's down most of the time with the tanu on thanks for coming to spudsgarage.com the inside of the rack and the power top it's actually lifting right here right now and that's what the rack looks like it's body right, color we're in the trunk here with you just as nice as the rest of the car the same uh, upholstery theme in the trunk here that in the black bag there right there is a bra or nose cover for the car it has a uh, Oh, uh, custom auto sound uh, controller in the dash, which we've already shown to you. It's a 10 disc player in the trunk here. The battery shutoff switch for the entire car is right there. There's also one on the dash that turns on the ignition. Anyway, deck lid on the inside is the same color as the rest of the trunk. Want to encourage you to hang on to the rest of the video and take a good look. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. The undercarriage here. We're actually going to have it up on the lift too. And uh, I've already done that. That's what I did before I came outside here. So anyway, it has a high, uh, fully independent front suspension on the front with Willwood front disc brakes power. It has a nice little chrome chin guard there. There's the front brakes. It does have power steering. So it's got rack and pinion power steering. Kind of do a little walk around here in the video. You're gonna actually going to have two undercarriage videos. There's the horn. Beep, beep. And to give you a good feel, the tire size, we'll cover that for you. There's a jump point for the battery. We got a little dirt on the tires. The front tires are 205-60R15. Go down to the back here. Neat color on this car. You kind of get a good feel as I walk around here. Parallel leaf springs in the rear. And again, we're going to cover it up on the left. It's a Heinzman street rod chassis on the... Up on the lift undercarriage video, I covered it as a uh, uh, box factory style chassis. So it's a, it's an upgraded, en fully engineered chassis. The back tires are 235-70 R15. These are true Halibrand wheels. These are not reproductions. Ford 9-inch differential with, uh, like I said, parallel leaf springs, gas shocks, stabilizer bar front and rear. You can see the stabilizer bar there. Uh, stainless steel fuel tank. I believe it's about a 14-gallon or so. I'm probably repeating myself here, but we'll just cover everything. Nice exhaust, dual exhaust running out the back, short tube headers. Starting to get a little bit warm today. I've been out here doing this a little while. Kind of give you a good feel. Nice body off restoration. Again, you're going to see it up on the lift here in just a moment. We definitely want you to go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty of still photos exactly of what you're looking at and more. Other than that, talk to you soon. Have a great day. All right, we'll take a look at the undercarriage here and kind of give you a good feel. We have the benefit of a lift. This is very nice to have. This is a very nice car. It is definitely all steel. The floor pin pans are done on the car just as nice as the top of the car. And the chassis is all painted body color. Has parallel leaf springs in the rear with a stabilizer bar. Gas shocks. See the stabilizer bar right here. Has a uh, stainless uh, fuel tank in it. I'm sure there's some extra capacity there. Drum brakes in the rear. XL performance mufflers on it. Fuel lines are all run nicely along the frame line here. And the batteries, so the battery's got to be in the back of the car.
We'll show that, you know, we probably already covered that area for you here. Frame has been boxed all the way through. So the frame's been custom modified to accept it. It's got a drop down cross member to get the tranny out there. It has power disc brakes in the front, so it's got power assisted brakes on it. Here's where the brake lines and the brake bias is set at, but the floor pans on this car are just very nice. So this is a Jenny floor pan, it looks like back here. That's a Ford 9 inch rear differential. Custom exhaust runs through the frame so it's not hanging down. The front end is a fully independent uh, height style with tubular control arms and adjustable coilovers. Those are Willwood disc brakes. It does have power rack and pinion steering so this car drives nice. Um, here's some battery connections so you can have a jump point for the car. It has a mini high torque starter, chrome oil pan. Also front steel fenders, obviously. I said it was all steel. Anyway, we've covered this car pretty well. It's a nicely done car. It's a slightly older restoration that's done very well. Appears to be a 704 R4 automatic overdrive transmission. We'll have a double check on that. Turn around here and kind of give you a good feel from the light won't be as good, but those are Willwood disc brakes with braided brake lines right there. The splash shields are right there. So it keeps you from getting rock chips on the fender. Somebody put splash shields on it. Anyway, you definitely want to go to spudsgarage.com when you're done here. You should be at the end of the video. We appreciate you coming and enjoying our videos and looking at the car. Have a great day.